welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Maybelline color sensational lip creams if you do want to see a review and swatches please keep watching this collection has 40 shades and retails for five dollars and fifty cents at Walmart Ulta it retails for seven dollars and forty nine cents I purchased 13 shades in this collection so let's go ahead and start swatching I do want to read a little bit about this lipstick online it does say color sensational but creams cream finish lipstick makeup delivers crisp vibrant lip color and smooth supple lips Sensational color takes on a new feeling with this creamy lipstick formula available in 40 ultra flattering shades This rich creamy lipstick formula with shea butter leaves behind a sensuous feeling and creamy finish for smooth supple lips No feathering or bleeding this lipstick is now available in a wide range of nude pink red and plum shades that are rich warm and ultra flattering first shade is called 144 This shade looks so pretty let's swatch it Feels very creamy on the back of my hand. These lipsticks do have a hint of vanilla scent to it. it smells really good. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. The shade in Naked Dare washes me out a little bit. I do like the formula. It feels very creamy on my lips. It does feel hydrating as well. The next shade is called 133 Almond Hustle. Let's see what this swatch is like. Very pretty. Almond Hustle is very pigmented compared to the first shade we swatched. The shade is called 280 Rum Riche. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, another beautiful shade. Look at that. Gorgeous. Let's see what Rum Riche looks like. Here's what that shade looks like. Wow, again, very pigmented. I love this shade in Rum Riche. Again, it's super pigmented like Almond um, Hustle was. The next shade is 122 Brick Beat. Again, a gorgeous shade. Let's see what it looks like. Here's what Brick Beat looks like. Ooh, again, very pigmented. Another pigmented and gorgeous shade. The next shade is called 275 Crazy for Coffee. Another pretty shade. Here's what Crazy for Coffee looks like. This one I'm not too in love with. It's not as pigmented as the last three shades were. The shade in Crazy for Coffee, you do have to build up if you do want that full pigment. You can wear this alone if you want something sheer on your lips. A couple swipes and then you're out the door if you want to go for that no makeup makeup look. The next shade is called 111 Double Shot. I love my dark chocolate shade. See what this swatch is like. Ooh, super pretty. Very pigmented as well. Here's what Double Shot looks like. It's super pigmented. Double Shot has to be my favorite so far that we've swatched. It's super pigmented. The next shade is 950 Untainted Spice. Another one of my favorite shades. Super pretty. Gorgeous. This shade seems a little bit subtle for me. Let's 
Why does this shade remind me of Crazy for Coffee? It looks similar. I do want to swatch the shade side by side. Here we have Untainted Spice, and then here's Crazy for Coffee. Crazy for Coffee is a little bit lighter than Untainted Spice. On the lips, it looks kind of similar. The next shade is 450 Romantic Rose. This shade is different. I'm not sure if this will look good on me, but let's swatch it. It's a little bit too light. I don't think it'll work on me. I'm not sure why I purchased it. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. A little bit too light. This could be a great sheer lip balm if I just don't build it up. I actually like this shade. It doesn't wash me out. The next shade is called 244 Pink Score. This shade looks better than the previous shade. Expected a little bit more pigment. You can still see my dark upper lip peeking through. I built up this shade and it looks gorgeous. The next shade is called 266 Pink Thrill. This shade I was looking forward to the most. I just needed to purchase it. It was beautiful in the store. That is so pigmented. I love a pigmented pink. Look at that, gorgeous. Wow, that is so pigmented. One swipe pigment. Pink Thrill is so gorgeous. It's this beautiful magenta shade. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. The next shade is called 344 Coral Rise. I'm running out of arm space. Very creamy. Kind of disappointed with Coral Rise. You do have to build up the shade in Coral Rise. Next shade is called 223 Pink Pose. Another pretty shade. I'm not sure where to swatch it. I'm gonna try to swatch it here at the very bottom. Hopefully you guys can see it. Look at that bubblegum pink. Let's see what pink pose looks like applied on the lips. It's a little bit sheer. We'll see if we can build it up. The last shade I purchased is 311 Crimson Race. So pretty. I'm gonna swatch Crimson Race here at the top, where my knuckles are. I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Cause I don't have any more room. I feel like I swatched all the way through. Maybe that was a bad idea, cause it's not swatching right. I loved every shade that I purchased except for one shade in Naked Dare.